Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is December the 22nd, 2021. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spectre Shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off where you can build your own custom playmat. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting to list off here with Hidden Path, and this is a reserveless card from the dark. It's down 5.42% from $34.29 to $32.43. Next, loser of the day is Sliver Legion, and this is the original printing of the card from Future Sight. It's down 5.43% from $31.87 to $30.14. Our next loser is Umbrus Fear Manifest, and this is the extended art version of this card from Commander in Strahd Crimson Vow. It's down 5.54% from 2038 to 1925. Wedding Ring, another card from Commander in Strahd Crimson Vow. This is the extended art version of the card, down 5.57% from 3468 to 3275. Black Cleave Cliffs, this is the Zendikar Rising Expedition version of this fast land, down 5.62% from $32.75 to $30.91. Our next loser is Luxury Suite from Battle Bond. This dual land is down 5.63% from $30.19 to $28.49. And our next loser on the loser section today is Endurance from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic evoke elemental creature is down 5.93% from $33.21 to $31.24. And we've got Vanquisher's Banner from Time Spiral Remastered. This reprint is down 9.01% from $11.77 to $10.71. And our final loser of the day is Cursed Totem from Classic 6th Edition. This artifact is down 29.88% from $16.33 to $11.45. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are starting at list off here with Altar of Dementia from Tempest. This artifact is up here today 5.02% from $21.70 to $22.79. Now the first reprint from Conspiracy is currently sitting at $9.68 on the market, and the Modern Horizons reprint is around the same price at $10.19 on the market. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Will Hut the Rock Cleaver, Maldothra the Gravetide, and even Marin of Clan Neltoth. Next on our winner section today is a sliver. It's Sliver Hivelord from the Secret Layer series. This card is up 5.35% from $23.53 to $24.79. Now this came from the art series Thomas Baxa, and that was at $29.99 when this Secret Layer first came out. Now the original printing of this card is from Magic 2015, and that card is currently sitting at $13.98 on the market. This card is obviously seeing a lot of commander play in decks like Sliver Overlord, the first Sliver, and more from the Boundless decks as well. Our next winner of the day is Shadow Spear from Theros Beyond Death. This legendary artifact equipment is up 5.41% today from $18.87 to $19.89. Now, the extended art version of this card is sitting at about $8 more expensive than the regular copy at $28.54. Now, this card is seeing some modern play in Hammer Time decks, Jund, and Death and Taxes and Legacy, as well as Commander decks like Oaken Eye of Chaos and Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale. Our next winner of the day is Karn, the Great Creator. This is the old border one from the Secret Lair series. This Planeswalker is up today 5.45% from $32.45 to $34.22. Now, the original version of this card from War of the Spark is currently sitting at $9.80 on the market, so a lot less expensive than the Secret Lair version. Now, this card is seeing a lot of modern play in Amulet Titan, Mono Green Tron, and Eldrazi Tron, but also some vintage play in Blue Tinker decks, Prison Shops, and even Paradoxal Outcome. Goldspan Dragon from Kaldheim is the next winner on our list. It's up 5.92% from $26.84 to $28.43. 
Now there is an extended art version of this card that was in the collector packs and that card is currently sitting at 3510 on the market so about $7 more expensive than the regular version of this card. It is seeing a ton of standard play right now. Is it Dragon's Jun midrange? Is it Control, Grixis Control, and even decks like Rakdos midrange and Commander decks like Prosper Tonebound and the Ur Dragon. Our next winner of the day is Arcane Signet, another secret layer card. Now this artifact is up 7.26% from $14.87 to $15.95. Now the original printing of this card from Throne of Eldraine is currently sitting at $1.15 on the market, so much cheaper alternative to throw into a deck. This card is seeing a lot of commander play in decks like Wilhut the Rock Cleaver, Edgar Markov, Millicent Restless Revelin, and even Stefan Moore Progenitor as well. And our final winner of the day is an Arabian Nights card. It's Repentant Blacksmith. And this card is up 7.27% today from 71.62 to 76.83. Now this card did have its print run disclosed because it's from Arabian Nights and there is only 20,700 copies printed from Arabian Nights. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are starting a list off here with Whip Silk from Invasion. Now this foil is up 23.09% from $22.74 to $27.99. Our next winner on the list is Retraced Image from Torment. This rare old frame foil is up 25.05% from $28.78 to $35.99. Next foil winner is Blood Clock from Saviors of Kamigawa. This artifact is up 26.98% from $6.93 to $8.80. Next up is Sickening Shoal from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This card is up 29.21% from $26.22 to $33.88. Swarming Mass from Urza's Destiny, another old frame foil up 42.11% from $6.15 to $8.74. And we've got Plaguewind from Prophecy, a rare old frame foil up 44.37% from $17.31 to $24.99. Next up on our foil winner section is Dusk Urchins from Shadowmoor. This card is up 45.20% from $8.85 to $12.85. Our next foil winner is Infernal Genesis from Prophecy, another rare old frame foil up 53.13% from $29.08 to $44.53. Stronghold Rats from Future Sight. This card is up 70.63% from $15.15 to $25.85. And our final winner of the day is Harsh Judgment from Invasion, another rare old frame foil up 83.59% from $2.56 to $4.70. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithms. I just passed 10,000 subscribers and it was all because of you guys. You guys are amazing. Thanks for liking and commenting. It really helped push my videos into the algorithm and help my channel grow. Next big milestone I guess is going to be 15,000 subs hopefully I can get there at some point next year and if I do again it's all because of you guys and all the awesome support you've shown this channel let me know in the comment section what was your favorite mover of the day which cards are you most surprised to see and which cards do you actually own that were on the list I do read every single comment so please leave them down below I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering market movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. 
If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.